So today I'm going to be reading you Sleeping Badger. These are the characters. Bella Badger, King and Queen, Fairy Godmothers, Wicked Wasp, Prince Snuffling. Once upon a time, a happy king and queen lived in a palace deep in the forest. The their happiness was complete when a baby princess was born. They named her Bella and held a big party to celebrate. The king and queen invited three magic butterflies to, to be their daughter's fairy godmothers. Each godmother brought a special gift for Bella. The first godmother gave the baby the gift of cleverness and fun. The second gave the gift of beauty and music. The third godmother was about to give her gift when a shadow fell over the room. Wicked Wops flew in she was cross that she had not been invited to the party i put this baby under a spell the wasp buzzed angrily she will be stung by a wasp and die before her 16th birthday the wasp flew away laughing the last butterfly godmother thought quickly before she gave her gift to the baby I cannot stop the wasp spell, she said, but if Bella is stung, she will not die. Instead, she will sleep for a hundred years and will only be woken up by a kiss from a prince. The years passed and Bella grew up. Everyone in the palace made sure that no wasps ever came near her. As her 16th birthday approached, the king and queen hoped that Bella might escape the wasp spell. Buzz, buzz. But the day before her 16th birthday, Bella heard a buzzing sound outside. She went out to explore and saw a juicy apple. She did not, she did not spot the wasp hiding behind it. As Bella reached out to take the apple, the wasp dumped her and she fell asleep. The king and queen were horrified. They carried the sleeping Bella back to her room. When the be butterfly godmothers saw how upset the king and queen were, they magically put everyone in the ca castle to sleep too. One hundred years passed and thorny bushes grew around the sleeping place. One day, Prince Nuffling was passing through the forest when he spotted the palace behind the thick brambles. He cut his way through and went inside where he found the sleeping princess. Prince Snuffling thought Bella was beautiful. He gave her a kiss and she began to wake up, to wake. Then everyone else in the palace began to stir. They were delighted to see Bella waking up. It was not long before another party was held in the palace for Bella and Prince Nuffling's wedding and they all lived happily ever after the end. Please subscribe to my channel and click the like button down below. Bye!